good morning students welcome to science class today we learn about atoms and molecules unit 7 chemistry in this lesson we already learn about the following topics the modern atomic theory and relative atomic mass now i explain about molecules and molecular mass let us start with introduction about atom atom is a smallest substance we are not able to see under naked eye and atom is made up of proton neutron and electrons and atom is the building blocks of matter next we learn about molecule what does mean by molecule let us start with definition a molecule is a combination of two or more atoms held together by strong chemical force of attraction that is chemical bonds that means two or more atoms are combined together by chemical bond is known as molecule for example oxygen is a molecule because it contain two oxygen atom that is o2 oxygen is a molecule it contain two oxygen atoms are combined with the chemical bond o chemical bond and o so o2 is a molecule here some of the example for molecules and next we learn about classification of molecules molecules are classified in two types homo atomic molecule and hetero atomic molecule homo atomic molecule that means a molecule is made up of same kind of atoms that is the molecule is made up of similar kind of atom is known as homo atomic molecule for example hydrogen h2 and ozone o3 and phosphorus p4 all of them is made up of same or similar kind of atom second one is hetero atomic molecule a molecule is made up of different kind of atom is known as hetero atomic molecule for example hydrochloride that is hcl and hydrogen sulfide h2so4 in this hydrogen chloride it contain two different kind of atoms one is hydrogen and another one is chloride and in hydrogen sulfide it contain three different kind of atoms one is hydrogen and second one is sulfur and third one is oxygen next we learn about atomicity definition of atomicity is number of atoms present in a molecule is known as atomicity for example the atomicity of oxygen o2 is 2 because it contain two oxygen atom and the atomicity of water h2o is 3 because it contain two hydrogen atom and one oxygen atom so that atomicity means how many number of atom present in a molecule is known as atomicity the based on this atomicity the homo atomic molecule is again subdivided into homo diatomic molecule and homo triatomic molecule and homo polyatomic molecules first one homo diatomic molecule that means it contain two same atoms example oxygen o2 it contain two same oo atoms and homo triatomic molecule that means it contains three atoms ozone o3 it contain o o o o three atoms are present in that and homo polyatomic molecule it contain more than three atoms more than three same atom is known as homo polyatomic molecule for example phosphorus p4 it contain four phosphorus atom so based on this atomicity the hetero atomic molecules are again subdivided into hetero diatomic hetero triatomic and hetero polyatomic molecules 
first hetero diatomic molecules it contains different kind of two atoms example hydrogen chloride hydrogen iodide it contains two atoms but two atoms are different kind of atoms for example hydrogen chloride it contain hydrogen is the one at one kind of atoms and chloride is the another kind of atoms so it is known as hetero diatomic molecule and hetero triatomic molecules it contain three different kind of atoms for example carbon dioxide it contain one carbon atoms and two oxygen atoms are present in that so it is hetero triatomic molecule and hetero polyatomic molecule means it contain more than three different kind of atoms for example ch4 methane and h2so4 hydrogen sulfide here hydrogen sulfide it contain seven atoms that is two hydrogen atoms and one sulfur atom and four oxygen atoms are present in that and next we learn about relative molecular mass that is r m m the definition of relative molecular mass of a molecule is the ratio between the mass of one molecule of substance to 1 by 12 mass of an atom of carbon 12 here that 1 by 12 mass of an atom of carbon 12 carbon 12 is denoted as amu that means atomic mass unit it is a standard unit using to measure the mass of the atoms for example if you want to measure the mass of any substance means how we have to measure it we have to measure using such units such as uh, grams kilograms or milligrams likewise we have to measure the mass of the atom because atoms are the very very small elements we have to measure the mass of the atom by using a standard unit is atomic mass unit so that atomic mass unit is known as 1 by 12th mass of carbon 12 atom so using this amu we measure the relative molecular mass so relative molecular mass is the ratio between mass of one molecule of substance to 1 by 12th mass of atom of carbon 12 next we learn about difference between atoms and molecules so we know about that atoms and molecules let us learn the differentiation of this first one is atom atom is the smallest particle of element but molecule is the smallest particle of element or compounds that means more than two atoms present in a molecule is known as compound so atom is the smallest particle of element and molecule is the smallest particle of element or compounds and atom does not exist in free state except noble gases because in noble gases all the atoms are present as in free state but in molecule they are exist in free state and third one is except as some noble gas atoms are highly reactive in chemical reactions but molecules are less reactive in chemical reactions and atoms does not have chemical bond but atoms in the molecules are joined together with the help of chemical bond so molecules contains chemical bonds that molecules atoms in the molecule contains chemical bond but atom does not contain any chemical bonds present on that and students i hope you understand about that atoms and molecules in next class we learn about mole concept avogadro hypothesis and relationship between vapor density and relative molecular mass thank you students